Hello there. Today we're going to be looking at all the rares, their locations and drops inside the Alliance Zone of Westfall. Westfall has 7 rares total, and their level range is from 15 all the way up to level 26. Master Digger Our first rare is Master Digger, a level 15 kobold that sits at the back of Jangalod Mine. There are a few other low level creatures around here, I think if you were in here at maybe 12 or 13 you could probably do it, and it's about right for the quest you get to go into Jangalod Mine, so I wouldn't worry too much. If you kill this guy, he has an 80% chance to drop the Rock Chipper, but a 35% chance to drop the Burrowing Shovel, which is a very nice two-handed maze. Having plus four agility, the Burrowing Shovel is an absolutely great weapon for hunters and especially feral druids at low level. I don't think there are many other weapons that have plus four agility on at this level, so it's really, really good to be able to pick this up. You do have to contend with the fact though that you are going to be carrying a shovel around for a while and you may get some funny looks off people. Slark. Up next we have Slark, a level 15 patrolling murloc that roams around the northern section of Longshore. Slark himself is not that hard to kill, he, like I said, he does roam around a lot so expect him to have been killed a fair bit by players who just happen to stumble upon him. You may end up pulling one or two extra murlocs but aside from that he doesn't really have any particularly special abilities. That being said, it is worth killing this guy because his loot is pretty good. He has a 56% chance to drop what's known as the Slark Skin, and he also has a 25% chance to drop the Coral Claymore. Not only that, he also has a 10% chance to drop a quest item called Captain Sander's Treasure Map. I will not go into the specific details of that quest, but needless to say, it is very fun. It's a little treasure hunting quest. There's not a lot of those in WoW, so to get this at really early level is really fun. Sergeant Brashclaw In at rare number 3 we have Sergeant Brashclaw, a level 18 null that lives just south of Jangalod Mine. Now, I cannot stress this enough, this rare is really, really difficult to do solo. There is at least 6 nulls around him and they all hit really really hard. It's really annoying, he can enrage them all, they do crap tons of damage. I definitely wouldn't recommend doing this solo. That being said, Sergeant Brashclaw is the only rare in Westfall that has a chance to drop 2 green weapons. On top of that, he always spawns near a chest, so the chances are, if a player has killed him, you would know about it because he wouldn't be there and the chest would be looted. I don't think a player would be able to get in and loot the chest without pulling all the mobs. What I'm trying to say is, if you're willing to take the risk, the rewards can be great. Both weapons are absolutely fantastic. Brashclaw's Skewer has an 80% chance to drop, and Brashclaw's Chopper has a 20% chance to drop. Both unique items to him. Because he is a pretty difficult rare to kill, not a lot of players will attempt to kill him solo. This does give you an edge if you do want to head down there with your friends and give him a go. Brack. Brack is a level 19 murloc that patrols on the southern portion of Longshore. Brack is a lot more harder than Slark because he primarily hangs around murloc oracles which can heal. This can make him pretty dangerous to the single player, so I would probably advise taking a friend with you on this one. As for Lou, his loot is pretty good. He has a fairly good drop chance for the Privateer's Cape, which is a pretty good cape overall, and the Brack Claw, which is a fairly nice dagger as well. It's one of the higher drop chance for a weapon in the rares in this zone. So if you are looking for a nice new dagger, I would definitely recommend killing Brack. Leprethus. Up 
Up next at round number 5 we have Leprothus, a level 19 undead ghoul. Leprothus spawns with two allied ghouls, and many players do not realise, but Leprothus will only spawn at night. He's one of the few rares that actually has a spawn depending on the time of day. He will only spawn at around about 8pm I think on your server time, so if you do want to get him, that's the kind of time you need to be logging on for. I've heard rumours he spawns in two locations, but I actually haven't seen it myself. As for drops, a 78% chance for ghoul fingers, a 22% chance for ghoul fangs which is one you definitely want to look out for. It's a really nice weapon and it sells really well. Faux Reaper 4000 Up next we have Faux Reaper 4000, a level 20 mechanical construct in the middle of Molson Farm. I can't stress this enough, whatever you do, do not get close to this guy if you fight him. Try and kite him, try and bring a hunter, a mage, anything that will slow him down. He does an AoE attack that really, really hurts. I would definitely recommend killing this guy because he has a quite high percentage chance to drop a 10 slot bag. Now the bags are not unique, this means that you can either choose to sell them or you can keep them for yourself. 10 slot bags are not cheap in Classic WoW, so I would definitely recommend holding on to them. Voltros. Up next we have the rather elusive Voltros at level 26. You might not have seen Voltros around, even though he's so close to Sentinel Hill. The reason being that he has a 2 day respawn timer. This mob is so good, if you do see him you have to, have to kill him. He's considerably higher than the average level for the zone, so you're probably going to have to get someone higher level to help you, but if you can kill him, he has a 10% chance to drop the Talon of Voltros, an absolutely fantastic rare dagger. Not only that, but a 75% chance to drop the Feathered Cape anyway, that is a really really good cape, I definitely recommend getting it. Again, a 48 hour respawn timer, if you do see him, please kill him as fast as possible. And on that note, that just about sums up Westfall and its 7 rares, locations and drops. Overall, Westfall is an absolutely fantastic zone. You can definitely tell Blizzard put a lot of effort into making sure that all the mobs felt unique and the items felt powerful and rewarding. If you liked the video, please leave a comment and if you want to see more, subscribe to the channel.